What's going on guys, Awesomes Prime here, and welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, new setup and everything, welcome to what I like to call the Awesomeness Prime Studio, also known as my bedroom. But I have uh, transformed it into like a mini studio, so it's very cool, but I'm not gonna blabber about that. If you wanna check my Instagram, I might make videos about that later. Before I start the video, I just wanna go ahead and say thank you guys so much. And don't forget to follow me on social media, at Awesomeness Prime on Instagram, TikTok, at Awesomeness Prime 4. And as well as here on the channel, you can go ahead and now subscribe and become a channel member for exclusive perks. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be unboxing from Show's Store the Tangway Weapon Master, AKA Studio Series Iron Eye, guys. This guy looks awesome. When I saw it on Show's Store's website, I was like, I have to get that, I really do, because I never was able to get the Studio Series Iron Hide. It just cost a lot of money, and I was like, this looks pretty good. Before I take him out of the packaging, if you shop at Show'sYStore.com, enter code A Prime to show your support to the channel. Alrighty guys, and uh, I know that the view's gonna be a little different. You're not gonna fully see me unpack the figure, but I will for sure still be showing it and as well as my reaction. So, still authentic reactions. Here we go. Slot it Okay, something fell out. There's the packaging, we'll throw that over there. Put this down, see what's right here. Okay, it's got the Studio Series um, instructions. So it must be just like the Studio Series. And we got a lot of weapon add-ons here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Different pieces here. Very interesting. Ooh, I like this, this looks cool, check that out. Little sword, that look, or a little dagger. Yeah, and then the instructions are pretty, okay, they're not exactly the Studio Series. I thought it was the Studio Series because of the layout of it, the coloring, but it is not. It's just done very in a similar style. But here is Ironhide. I'm going to slide this plastic off, push that aside. Before I take them, we're going to look at these cannons. Feeling lucky, punk. So cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That actually looks so good, guys. Oh man, I love this one. Yes, that looks great. That looks great. And here is my first iron hide figure in a long time. Oh wow, he looks very interesting. I won't lie, his chest pieces look very flattened here. I don't know if it's just, I like the joints. The joints feel very like firm. They don't feel very loose. They don't feel like they're just gonna fall off. It feels like I have to like yank on it if I really want it to come off, which is honestly a good thing. See what I mean? How it's like very flattened, but it's got like little baby arms. I will say it does look pretty dang strange. Unless these like extend out more and I just don't know. But guys, initial impression, this guy looks pretty good. Again, like I've been saying, just the flatness and the uh, little baby arms but once we hook him up in the studio and he and he has his guns he's gonna look great so without further ado guys let's give you guys a close-up look at Ironhide and here we have a close-up look of Ironhide in his vehicle mode and my oh my I really really do enjoy this I have my little nitpicks here and there but besides those little nitpicks I would say this is a pretty dang good vehicle mode looking at the vehicle mode some of the accessories it came with were these pieces. These pieces are actually not really accurate to the movies, but I gotta say, I actually really do like it. So I might keep it on there because I'm, I'm kind of like a car guy. I like cars and stuff. And I think that's a pretty cool uh, little aesthetic here on the Iron Heights truck mode. So I might actually keep this. But uh, for now, I will go ahead and set those aside and show you guys what the pure just truck mode looks like and just talk about things I like, things I don't. Now, the one thing I like is I think this looks just good in general. It may just be the fact that I don't own a Studio Series Ironhide until now or the fact that I just like it. <laughs> but I, I do really enjoy it. I think it looks very good. I actually like the silver... Um, Opposed to the gunmetal, which is surprising. I thought I would like the gunmetal bumper much more, but no, not in this case. 
And then uh, one thing, yes, this little piece right here. Supposedly this was on the original Studio Series, but um, it is still here. It doesn't really bother me too much. I've never been one to complain too much about like kibble backpacks extras. I will say it is a little obvious, but again, nothing that really bothers me like crazy. But um, yeah, one thing that um, was pretty unfortunate is, as you can see, there's no middle, middle toe or the left toe piece here. Mine snapped off, so that is a little unfortunate. It will look a little strange in the vehicle, or in the robot mode, rather. But, um, I mean, it, it is what it is. Might have a contact shows you store. Not their fault one bit. Nobody's fault. Accidents happen, things happen. But, see what happens with that. But, um, and then, uh, the, and then the transparent plastic, I mean, Again, I've never been really been one to be bothered by that, but you can see his head pretty clearly. It's not picking up in the camera, but with my eyes, I can see him pretty clearly in there. And then one little thing, I do wish they would have painted the red GMC logo on the front end, but they did not. So that is a little disappointing, but, and then with the, with this version of the Studio Series Ironheart, there is a panel right here that comes as an accessory that you plug in there. I'll be honest, I don't really remember exactly what the Dark of the Moon Studio Series one looked like, but supposedly this was hollow. And with this version, it is not hollow, but looks pretty good. There is no Autobot logo, obviously, because this is not an official licensed product, but we do have the 4x4 and there's no more GMC. It does say GMC, which is pretty interesting because of licensing reasons, but it does look pretty good. It rolls pretty smoothly, maybe not. Left front tire is getting a little nudge, might just be because of the way it is, but them real, them real tires, the rear tires roll pretty good. You do spins and stuff, but yeah guys, this, this is a pretty solid truck mode. I really like it. It looks pretty good, but uh, yeah guys, it is time for Ironhide to transform. And here we have Ironhide in his robot mode, and may I say, he looks freaking awesome. I love this robot mode. I was looking at some pictures compared to the Studio Series, and it is definitely an improvement. I really do like it. I love how it has the weaponized systems up here of the gun, of the shotgun of Dark of the Moon with the little daggers on it. The way the cannons look, it all looks so good. And as you can see with how the chest piece is, how it was flattened when I first opened it, that is a mistransformation. You definitely do push them farther back and clip them in, and it looks 10 times better. And here is your close-up look of Ironhide. Oh my goodness, this dude looks so good. That is one little thing right here. As you can see, I noticed that does fall back a lot. A little bit of a looser joint there. It feels, does feel tighter on his right arm opposed to the left arm, but it's no problem. I'm gonna have him just sitting there like that. But man, he looks great. Like I was saying about these pieces, how they were flush. They definitely did fold back as I was doing the transformation and up here to his waist piece here is the piece that is improved on the studio series of composed to this one this is how it looked on the original studio series figure but on this it is able to bend back like that which looks a lot better honestly it never really bothered me in the studio series and the images but man oh man it d definitely looks a lot better coming down here to the feet paint looks pretty good just you got your standard black paint and then little bits of silver same over here with the toes silver toes again my toe fell off over here so it does look a little weird a little unfortunate but see what happens with that moving to the back we do have the truck pieces on the back and then he does have these pieces right here that are like ankles their ankle holders on the back. I forget the exact name of what you call them, heels. He does have heel pieces that help him stand even better. Articulation for this guy, starting with the legs. Rotation is pretty good right here. He does have a baby knee joint that goes that much back, none forward at all. Here is the ankle pivot as I was telling you about right there, it has a little ankle pivot nothing crazy but it still is ankle pivot which is pretty dang neat with the arms the arms are kind of weird up here but they do have like this kind of butterfly effect they do move all the way up down 
they don't really do like the whole 360 spin just because of the angle that they're in over here which uh, doesn't bother me but it can go up like that if you want him to but it can go back as far as that and we'll do like a really far throw it's got an interesting swivel up in here like that can go down he does have elbow bend which can go up straight and like that fist articulation just goes around like that nothing crazy Little 360 but um yeah it's pretty interesting and then as for see as you can see how that <laughs> the side is very loose and for the head his head is pretty good the head mold supposedly couldn't look down too much in the studio series but in this one he can look down as well as up there goes the weapon you can't technically make him look more up if you pick up the whole assembly in there which is something you could do but he does turn all the way around which is pretty good thank you it kind of gets stuck right there so maybe don't do that guys Here's a look at the beautiful head sculpt. As you can see over here on this side of his face, he looks a little like beat up kind of, which is very interesting. And I don't know if you can tell up up there, you can kind of see Cybertronian glyphs molded into his head. Not fully, and I'm guessing maybe because of copyright, but they're, they're, they're there, they're kind of there. You can tell what they were going for. But um, yeah guys, this guy just looks awesome. His back, he doesn't really have too much. I mean, I guess, he does have a little bit of a backpack he just has the weapons and then the whole back piece but it's nothing too crazy honestly i feel like it's all pretty molded in there pretty good and he looks like a pretty dang good iron hide and here we have iron hide standing next to the studio series deluxe class dino and i will say i feel like the scaling here is pretty dang good iron hide doesn't look too huge compared to deluxe class but he doesn't look at all compared to a leader class size he is a voyager and that is a good scale and here is Ironhide standing next to his best friend, Dark of the Moon, Voyager class, Sentinel Prime. And as you can see, opposed to the Deluxe class scaling, he is a Voyager standing next to a Voyager. And they look pretty good in size. I will say, uh, comparing to the movie, I'm pretty sure Sentinel was very large, not the size of Ironhide. I did wish he was a leader class, but he is a Voyager. But they look pretty good next to each other. Again, the scaling compared to the movie is not really on par but it is what it is and for the last comparison we have him standing next to leader class shockwave this scaling is a little more accurate at least in voyager to leader I feel like shockwave isn't the biggest leader class ever but he definitely is a leader class and he kind of looks at here he has a little more broad scale taller scale and i think it fits pretty good and there you guys have it. That's been my unboxing and review of the Bayway Studio Series Ironhide. This figure is awesome, guys. Honestly, I don't even, I, I never even owned the Studio Series Ironhide. But just off of this alone, this is better, a lot better than a lot of Studio Series figure. Coming from just the quality, the transformation was a lot of fun, the weapons, the accessories, and for the price, this was like $25. Like that's cheaper than a Voyager. That is the that's the price of a deluxe class nowadays. That's insane to think of, you know, for the price and the quality. Although I know the toe did break off. I mean, things happen, but I feel like this is very much a good purchase and I would suggest that you go ahead and get this figure yourself, guys, cuz it is definitely a great figure. I'm glad that I got it. I love it. It is <laughs> He looks great. He looks a very great. I'm going to have some more fun with him as I edit this video for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And think about becoming a channel member for more exclusive perks. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Awesomeness Prime on Instagram and at Awesomeness Prime 4 on TikTok. Once again, guys, if you shop at Show Z Store, use code A Prime in all caps to show your support of the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. It truly means the world to me. And I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited for the new style of videos, trying to give you guys the best quality I can. I really do appreciate. Thank you guys so much for everything. And this is Awesomeness Prime, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.